Hello, my friends! I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in the Great War Redux mod. Playing as Austria Hungary, last time we had World War I when Germany, well, became a little aggressive, we'll say. And now the Russians are trying to fight us, which is, well, not very good for us. So let's go ahead and do this and try to strengthen the line as much as we possibly can. Because right now it's not looking great. And I really hope, I really hope. No one else goes to war with me. Because it's not going to be very easy against the Russians. The Russians, well... They're Russian. Anyways, I hope you're having a great day. There's a lot of support for me to continue playing this mod on the channel, which I will gladly oblige. And Conrad... Any more strength? I kind of want Organizer. But we'll see what happens. Cool. And also, because there's a lot... I don't own Hungarian territories cores... There's some support in the comments for me to core my territory, core this territory. I will over time using the State Center Tool mod, but for, for first, let's just go ahead and core, like, Bukovina, because that historically was part of the Russian Empire and should not have revolted at all, as well as Bosnia and Zara. I think that just makes sense for us to do this, and Bosnia was a shared core, so we might as well core it as well. There we go, just because I need as much support as I can possibly get right now. Uh, hopefully we can do okay with this. We can build this up a little bit more. That'd be kind of nice. Keep building up some more stuff. Let's get some uh, steel. We definitely need some steel. I will support the U.S. with that. Good. All right. So we also have a problem here with interwar recovery. We've got some field hospital twos. Last time we were running out of manpower, so that's we went to extensive conscription. I'm gonna get some more army defense because we gonna need it. Oh, we gonna need it, son. Oh my goodness. Uh, let's get some better helmets. Very cool. And I do have a cup of something a little more elegant. Not coffee, but buttermint tea. Something I thought that would be a little bit more fitting for an Austrian empire than coffee. Wow, that is hot. Buttermint tea. Delightful. Alright. <sighs> yeah, I would not want to be anyone who serves on the front line here. Just going to be straight up 100% honest with you. This does not look like fun. Oh, mmm. Mmm, Conrad. Let's get some more attack. Please don't lose the line. Please don't lose the line. Casualties, uh, they have a much bigger industry, and that also hurts us since we have to core all the stuff back. We're slowly going to core everything here, but it's it is what it is. Oh, yeah, Coast guards, Coast guards are fine. When you deploy, come there. There you go. Good. Oh crap! They broke. Holy crap! They broke through. How did they do that? Aluminum. Aluminum production. Cool. Let's go grab Arbe over Commando. Very good. Very good. Yeah. No. I'm thinking no. That's a case. How are they smashing my lines? I mean, we are literally on defense. The Russians must be doing something to, like... I'm not going to say cheat, but... Honestly, they're def we should not be having issues like this. I mean, yeah, that's 10 divisions, but have you seen the defense on our soldiers? Like, it's insane. Good. We only wanted them to move around just so that we could defend a little better. One division should be able to hold out against these guys just because it's over a river. No, 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 no. Defend, go that way. Good. Help, help the line. Holy crap. You know what? If you want to attack, so be it. Early support weapons, good. Very good. Uh, we need some more defensive stuff right now. Air Doctrine, sure. Oh, good, we got more divisions, great. Throw them on the line, they need it. This is to Krakow, which is not good at all. Okay, so tell me, please, tell me, how you are defeating these four divisions. I, I don't think in World War One you could really attack this successfully. These guys are not bad at all. They're 20 combat width, they're... Look at that defense. You're telling me the Russians with their soft attack can just smash through my defense like that. Something's going on here. And Nicholas is pulling some tricky tricks on us. Yeah, that looks like that really helps you in attack. That really helps you in attack. That really helps you in attack. Yeah, I'm saying the Russians are up to something. They must have a modifier or something. I don't know, man. Three. They're attacking me with five divisions versus my three, and they're still winning. Hmm. Ambusher. Guerrilla fighter. Yeah. Definitely do that. Because right now, couch trees are 53,000 versus over a third of a million. Not bad, but... Hmm. 
Alright, I'm gonna core a little bit more because <clears throat> I can't deal with this resistance stuff. Go ahead and take that. Take that core, just so we get more factories, first of all. And go and do Vojvodina, too. Good. Because this is proper Austrian territory now. So. Uh, Edward, become an ambusher. Oh, he's a mountaineer, too. Good. Franz, ambusher. I mean, we are bleeding them dry. I mean, 400,000 casualties versus 59,000. I just hope no one else goes to war with us. That's my hope. Oh, that is definitely my hope. Go ahead and go that, do that low. We need a lot more guns. Uh, infantry. If I throw on these guys, you need motorized, so we're going to throw on recon. That should help out. Now we have a big old deficit of support equipment, but that's kind of okay. Because even though we don't get, you know, field hospitals, knowing what the enemy's going to do is going to be a great, huge help. Don't let them in. Don't let them in. Don't let them in. Please, for the love of God, oh, I can't stop them from attack getting in. That sucks. Yeah, no. Push them back in. Get rid of these. Ah, oh, there we go. Got more recovery rate and organization and army XP. Very good. Uh, probably not going to cooperate with Germany at any time. Get some upgrades. Upgrades. Motorized armor. Blockade of Serbia. War requirement axe. We get some more weapons. That's be good. War requirements axe. That looks really good. Rifles, perhaps. Some uh, artillery. Yes. It looks like this land auction really is not very good. We get more breakthrough. We don't get any more, get any more defense, which really sucks, but... Hmm. I mean, we're... Half a million casualties in for them. Good luck. Alright, so if that's the case, we're going to need some more forts. Or just lines. Uh, just in case, do something like that. Come on, come on. There you go. Definitely build it up in the mountains, because that's probably the best place to defend. And how long will it take to build these fortifications, actually? That's a good thing to ask, or figure out. Ooh, that's not it. Oh, a week. That's really not bad. That's really, really not bad. The more attacks you do, the stronger my defenses become when you just push me back in mountains. Thank you, Russia. Thank you. Alright, so we got more defense. We can get some more war propaganda if we need it. We can improve working conditions, but I'm not going to do that yet. If anything, do we have anything here? Cavalry attack defense wouldn't be bad. Screen attack defense. Uh, it's okay. It looks like might, they might break here, which is not a good thing. Anyone have any other upgrades? Yes, Rudolph. Become a guerrilla fighter. You guys. Uh, yeah, we could do that. God dang, these guys are leveling up quickly. Adaptable. I love adaptable so much. It's probably one of my favorite traits that my generals can get. Do that. Ambusher. Recon when entrenched, and if they have recon companies on, that just helps them out a bunch. I can't imagine Russia uh, just doing this indefinitely. I mean, it is Russia. they got a lot of manpower, don't get me wrong, but... Hmm. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Kill yourself on my line, you pieces of garbage. When we're done here, I might release an independent Poland from Russia. Now, of course, it would be my puppet, of course, but... Hmm. That's a lot, of army, a lot of army XP. That is a ton of army XP. Uh, I just hope to God no one attacks me right now. Please, no one attack me. Material designer. They don't give me benefits in the field. Airplane stuff could be good. But it really, none of this stuff really helps me in the field immediately. This does, though. Friedrich does. Capital ship stuff, that's kind of a waste. We might as well do this. Just at least our cavalry can attack and do a little better. Now, me trying to counterattack, that's going to be a big problem. We might consider starting to make some armored cars, but I really don't have the industry for it. I'm building, like, fallback lines just in case. So, you know, if that's the case, keep building up the civilian industry, because that'll be good. Ah, even more soft attack. Love it. It's almost 1916. 17. Logistics would be nice. Early heavy tank. Heavy tanks, light tanks. Ooh. Maybe we'll get start maybe on that, perhaps? We're doing well on guns. Need more steel. Uh, definitely do that. Repair that when you need to. Oh, we can't quite win. But don't worry about that. Ah, uh, war requirements act good. Good, 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 good. Hmm. Focus on the Air Force, maybe. Ooh. 
Because uh, that's a design company, that doesn't really do much for us. So, we just go to Howitzer. Get some more bonus for industry. Uh, you know, when they're going to war with us, it's only 1915. Will they still get the Russian Revolution? That is my question. I don't know. I hope so. Like, we could have, like, Soviet Russia, but I take, like, Poland, the Baltic States, and the Ukraine, and Belarus. That sounds pretty good to me, not gonna lie. Go and help bolster the main defenses. Edward, you're level 6. You are really good on defense. Level 7. God dang, No Man's Land. Awesome. Awesome. Which gives us more breakthrough, which I love. It gets more land out of tech, which will help us quite a bit. Uh, casualties? 110,000 versus almost a million. Roughly a million. Oh man, we're, we're still getting defeated in some areas, though. Like... Like, defense? This is definitely not the, world, the Great War mod when I played a long time ago. Because you couldn't, like, attack and win. Unless you had, like, really huge, thick divisions, which we currently do not... Yeah, see, they're even breaking us over here. Which is not good. They should have a fort over there, too. Good. That's coming along. We're building up forts down here just in case. It might not be really necessary. Yeah, they're still breaking through. I mean, they're they must be attacking with, with, with uh, command power. Their what was it? What is it called? Force attack. I mean, these guys are becoming veterans. I mean, that's insane. You gotta love the Hoi 4 AI. Conrad, do you have anything for us? Please become an organizer. But no, it doesn't look like he will. Improvisation expert. Ah, oh, I will go with adaptable though. I will gladly go with adaptable. Permission flying, very cool. Uh, sure, you can go do that. Happy 1960, my friends. Happy New Year. Happy, happy New Year. Skoda. Good. I mean, I, this is one way to take out the Russian bear, I suppose. How's the Air Force looking? Not great. Eh, must be because they're not even doing too much. Ah, the collapse of the Russian autocracy. Yes, the World War, or just the the, the aggression, the war of Russian aggression has exacerbated inter internal issues within the Russian Empire, forcing Tsar Nicholas II Romanov to ex take extreme measures and abdicate the throne. The democratic opposition has formed a provisional government, which lacks support from the working class of the country. If the new government does not make concessions to the bur burgeoning strength of the Petrograd Soviet, which considers itself the sole legitimate authority, then perhaps we should prepare for an armed confrontation within Russia itself. Good. Kill them off. They deserve nothing. Uh, I guess Russia has not appeared yet. Or Soviet Russia. Which is good. That is our saving grace probably here. And if that's the case, I'm going to go ahead and put you guys at the bottom. Because while I love to do it, we're doing still kind of okay. And let's go look at resistance. We're going to start coring probably more of Outer Hungary first. So let's go ahead and grab... Oh, we started down here. We must take West Banat. Banat. There we go. Slowly. Slowly over time. We'll, we're doing this. And we'll take Banat. Okay, I like Banat. My bad, I, I could kind of like... And we're actually holding pretty well, so... Well, well enough. Let's go to Howitzers. Let's grab some adult siege artillery. Sounds like fun. Sounds kind of explosive. Uh, let me guess, they have the National Spirit. Come on. Dual power? Dual power. Ooh, weekly war sport is dropping. Oh, wait, who are you? Vietter. Oh. It is 1916. It's not 1917, so... Yeah, I'd probably revolt too if I was into the the grinder, like they currently are. Um, and I mean, they got they got a little far into Austria-Hungary, and they got so far that I was able to make enough guns. Wow, that's pretty bad. All right, let's share the wealth, and by wealth I mean factories. All right, Russia, I can't wait for the revolution as we sip on some butter mint tea together. Ah, very good. Uh, yeah, I'm like, oh. occupation stuff. Uh, do we have, we still have a good amount. Actually, at this point, let's go ahead and start making the better version. That'd be delightful. All right, slowly, slowly, slowly. That's going down, that's good. Romanian, I think Slovaks are next. And we get some factories too, which will be very handy. I mean, come on, Russia, keep attacking, I guess. Keep throwing your men into the meat grinder. And I will gladly eventually take out Serbia. Oh, we need to go to war by August, actually. Serbia's looking a little thick there. We could go to war with them, but... That would, mm, 
Mmm, Montenegro. I'd love to go to war with them, but we're a little busy. I can always just fly on them later, maybe? Maybe not? Hmm. If we can't get Serbia, that's fine. At least let's get Montenegro. Currently, though, we're no longer mobilizing any more manpower. Yeah, this is 2%. This is 35 half. That's not very much. I could probably honestly use it. Let's go ahead and do that. Hurts the construction speed just by a little bit, but that's okay. Alright, so at this point, it looks like they're probably not going to be winning this war against us. Develop siege artillery, good. A Steyr Manisha manufacturer, very good, very good. We're capped at 500 army XP, we got some dispersed industry. Let's grab some production efficiency cap. And how many men have they lost? Oh, what are we missing? Okay. Roughly 2 million. Early heavy tanks, very good. Light tanks, heavy, early heavy tanks. I'll probably go with light tanks. It is 1916, so we can maybe get a better battleship. Oh, maybe. Ghost Guard's looking pretty good. I'm waiting. I'm literally just waiting for the revolution to happen. Complete Agarian reforms. Oh, they're out of manpower, so if I attack, it's all over for them. What's better, Serbia or Russia? I'm thinking, I'm thinking Russia. Take out the entire Russian nation. Kind of has a nice ring to it. And you guys, oh my god, look how many veterans we have. Oh, before we do anything, though, you guys still eight combat with. That's not good enough. Get the artillery in there, even though I don't think we have enough artillery right now. Whatever. Go and do that. We have recon. Get some engineers. Some artillery. Very good. I probably heard our... No, we have plenty enough artillery. If well, that's the case, you know what I'm going to do? We're gonna make these huge. Bop, 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 bop. Boom. Now these are some big boys. Now, if we won't go to war with these guys, that's fine. We can reach us file on them later. Probably pro provoking a war between France and the UK. I just realized that it's now the German Republic instead of the Weimar Republic. March on Rome, a new Duce for Italy. Hey! Benito, smoking isn't good for you, my son. My son? Beer, uh, beer Hall Pooch, huh? Hmm. A guy named Hilter, Hitler prepares for march on Berlin. Expansion of the party. Cool. Chancellor. Alright. And Knight of the Long Knives. Cool. Now, we could try to attack and win. We definitely need more divisions. We're not going to be able to go to war with Serbia or them, I think. Oh, this looks pretty good. It expires in August, but so... Hmm, whatever. Ah, Buttermint Tea. Manpower's looking pretty good. How's resistance looking? Yes, we'll be proper Austrian territory. The Hungarians have given up their claim to anything because they chose war against the masters and co-rulers, really. I mean, Russia, please. Please, Russia. Ah, good. Rifles. Blockade of Serbia. Uh, you know what? Let's grab some... Pr let's protect Tyrol and Istria just because you never know what might happen again. You never know. Alright, at this point, if we attack, we should do pretty darn well. At least we should. I mean, they still attack me here and there, but let's go and grab an opposition expert. And no one else here has upgrades. Jesus Christ. My generals are level 7 in some areas. 3, 2, maybe we can do well here, maybe we cannot. 1. Let's go on the offensive, because if they can push us, like how they pushed us earlier, we should be able to easily push them back. Just, well, maybe not with 2 versus like 20 divisions, but in some areas we should just be able to annihilate them now. Now it's our turn to go on the offensives with armor. Cool. Half a million manpower, let's get our boys back. Russia, you've chosen so poorly. France, what are you doing? You should be, honestly, France should be in a state of turmoil with like zero stability. Or at least 30%. Ah, the Great Socialist Revolution. Russian field of experiments, very cool. 
Yeah, this that's that's way too much stability for France after the war. No, no, no. Oh, what's going on here? Bulgaria? Oh. Well, that does not look good. We're going to become red? If that's the case, I'm going to demand, like, serious reparations, but, uh... Huh. That's the only movement. I'll gladly do that. Does anyone else want to put you down? This this is very dangerous. But you sure why not? Why not? We'll try it. We'll try it. I'm actually going to send half of you guys immediately come this way because we're going to need you. Uh, actually, join them right there. Okay. Everyone's going to be this. That'll be good. Led by this dude, Venzel. Get over there as fast as you can so Romania doesn't... Romania, I mean, Serbia doesn't kill us. Ah, good. Now, Soviet Russia. There's going to be serious demands, serious reparations, almost like a... Some might call a Brest-Litovsk treaty. I demand Ukraine, Belarus, Poland, at the very least, if I'm going to help them with this. That is the demand. Maybe not the Baltic states. Maybe they can have the Baltic states. Maybe I'll demand the Baltic states. We'll see what happens at the end. So, the Nazi party tried to seize the government in Bavaria, taking the region's prime minister hostage. Hitler proclaimed the beginning of a national revolution and led his supporters and militants to the center of Munich. Towards morning, the march was halted by the Reichswehr, General Ludendorff, and Hitler tried to continue the movement in the hope that the soldiers would not attack the war veterans, but were mistaken. The soldiers opened fire on the demonstration, and a shootout began. Hitler was wounded and soon arrested. The putsch failed. Who Who's Hitler? What's a Hitler? Do they have youth? Yeah, so I'm demanding... I'm making serious demands against this, so... You know what? I might even demand... You know, I might just demand the Baltic states. And Finland. Eh, yeah, maybe they can have Finland. If not the Baltic states, then I'm going to take Ukraine as well as the Cossacks. You know what? That's a good idea. We're going to expand our domain here. Oh, look at that. Now, that's nice. And we have 97% of the war score, so I think we can push our weight around a little bit. You guys looking okay... Resource-wise, we do need a few more guns, but we're working on that. Serbia's joined. Quite unfortunate. But that's why I rushed out to divisions just in case. Yes, we will gladly take this. And now we're fighting on a two-front war. How glorious. Uh, I mean, logistics, attrition. Really, nothing's going to help us out that much. Maybe an air force? An air superiority? Maybe? Let's go ahead and... Uh, Hold for now. We're going to, have to rethink this a little bit. Hmm. If that's the case, we don't need that many divisions guarding the coast, so. Wow. This is some serious lag. The Holy crap! What the heck just happened? Everyone revolted. Yeah, no, I'm taking you out. Like, no, 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 no. You know what? If that's the case, I'm sending you down here to Serbia. Crush the Serbs. Yeah, if... Let's see what the peace deal is going to look like once we're done here. Before I say too much else. Ukraine, what are you going to be up to? Yeah, no, it's just... Mm, I'm glad we... I'm, I'm kind of glad that actually happened, just so that we can reinforce our lines here in uh, Serbia. And now we're going to need more infantry from it. That's fine. Well, time to core another piece then. That's ours already. Uh, Slovakia, yeah. There you go. That's a little better. Dive bombing, cool. Let's keep improving whatever we have. You can both go there, that's fine. You can do this as well if you want. Get rid of trenches and stuff like that. There you go. If you can, go ahead and do that. Nope, I guess not. Cool. Protect, ah, protect Galicia, just in case. You never know. You never know. But I am going to get my good fair share of Russia when we're done here. 
Austria is becoming pretty thick. Oh, Serbia. How strong is Serbia? Alexander the First. Hmm. They believe in democracy, but they look how violent they're being. But then again, when did they never... When has democracy been peaceful? Ah, oh, love it. Oh, yeah, they're just... Oh, goodness gracious. If that's okay, so you guys are pretty much done. I'm gonna merge you under this person. Who's gonna do one, two, three? Go right there. It's like that, you guys. Go right there. There you go. Now you can spread yourself out a little bit more balanced. And we'll probably invade Serbia. Good. Oh, man, this is... This is not bad. Conrad, you're gonna be hailed as a hero. Back in Vienna. Beautiful. Red Finland. Wow, the Serbs... It's quite violent. You know what? I, you know what? I think we, we've got enough time here. Now, they're running out of manpower. That's nice. I'm not really interested. Construction-wise, we're doing okay. Oh, we're doing too well. Hold on. Let's do that. Carpathian Ruins. That's okay for now. Build us up even more. But, let's go ahead and create an agency. So, I asked... I think I asked you guys yesterday, what should our name be? So, we're going to go with the... K-U-K... Aberdeenst. There we go. Cool. So, the... What was it? At the Kaiserly Imperial Police Department? Something like that. I think it's something like that. I can't remember exactly. I can't wait to see Russia defeated and see what I get out of the war. Strikes, production, and several factors have slowed down dramatically over the last few days as the workers have declared a strike in all, in all war production. Demanding peace and bread, they have so far refused all attempts to negotiate a summit. What do you mean? We're in defense! Some of the government had to... Uh, advocated a sharp military response, followed by a swift execution of the ringleaders as enemy traitors and agents. However, others in civil service have recommended a more measured approach. Putting out a heavy-handed response made while backfired the soldiers involved are not as loyal as we thought they were. This will all blow over. Uh, there's an 80% chance heroes on the production front. Make propaganda campaign, we lose some political power, so be it. Yeah, I, I hate the strikes so much. That's why he just plays an authoritarian dictatorship. Get rid of them strikers. Good. Oh, wow, Romania got some territory, too. Oh, the Crimea is free. No! Franz Joseph I dies! No, after a long tenure in life, succumbed to pneumonia. Carl, lead us. No, no you're not Carl. Franz? I thought the, the event said Carl's gonna lead us. Uh, Franz Ferdinand, I mean, it's weird seeing you in 1916, but welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. Austrian staff. Alright, 1916 cruisers. Good. Get some of that. So if they're done attacking me, go ahead and good luck. We won't win everywhere. That's okay. And Red Finland, Finland is gone on certain times. And we have you guys. Good. Go ahead and just keep building up more factories for now. We'll focus on that a little bit more later, but... If Russia can break me, I can break the Serbs, I hope. Hmm. Protect Galicia. You guys stop. You guys stop attacking there. You guys stop attacking there. You guys... Actually, you help support the attack there, and then you guys help support the attack there. Good enough. Develop Gebergstruppe. Mountain soldiers, or light soldiers. Good. Crush them all. Good. You guys hold. Perhaps we can help out these folks here? These good folks. They are out of manpower, which is a great thing to see. Boo, we need more guns. Hmm. Wow, we need a lot more steel. That's fine. Go ahead and trade it away. You guys are looking pretty good. And we killed them all off over there. Awesome. Hmm. Influence of revolution. Well, we can't afford another war. Let's just help them destroy the remnants of the Russian army. Or heroes on the production front, if you want to read that, go right ahead. We removed strikes, and we got some stability in return. So far, our war support's going down because we still have this. We can't replace it yet, though. One of the following must be true. Less than true. Less than 50% war support. So we need less war support. Okay. And more world tension. Operational fire control. Good, we're done with our land doctrine. Very good. Get some more artillery, actually. Forgot about Otto Lang. I have to choose you because you look and seem very, very developed, which is nice. 
Uh, help beat him up. That'd be nice. Happy 1917. It's it's only 1917, huh? And just go ahead and kill these guys off. I want to see what's going to happen after this. They're all dead here. Hopefully, we we'll get some sort of good peace conference because we're supposed to have some sort of good peace conference. But we'll see what happens. Oh, someone's wounded. Hey, we actually won there. Very good. Very good. Losses. That's quite a bit now. Yeah. Excavation two. Very good. Very good. Gets more excavation. We could use more resources. Ooh. Even though we really don't have that many resources to speak of in Austria-Hungary right now. But that hopefully will change. Help him out, help him out. I do want Beograd, but attacking over the river is a bad idea. I wonder if we can tempt them to attack me. Yep. See what happens. And then... Eighth generation chest, let's go with that one. Will they attack me? Probably not. Actually, do we even need to kill Serbia? They're not a great power, so really, Russia is the goal here. The Russian national state. Hello, Tessa. Oh, goodness. Oh, I've never seen Tessa before. This gets me a little... A lot more interested. Oh. Violetovna. Violetovna. Ooh. If we could break across here and get down to the Ukraine... That would cut them off. That would be a very smart decision to do. Alright, guys, you're doing okay here. He's doing alright. Help them out maybe a little bit more. You guys are doing okay. Oh, did we, we didn't quite cut them off yet. That's okay. I think it was over here that we wanted to develop mountain soldiers. Uh, modernize the cavalry. That'd be a good idea. Oh, let's go ahead and get war propaganda so we can... Oh, uh, well, maybe that wouldn't be a good idea. Get rid of that. Hey, right, look, an encirclement. Beautiful. Do they still insert in? They do. Good. Don Kuban Union has to be destroyed. Hey, we pushed in a little bit in Serbia. Nice. Scott's gonna have quite a few soldiers, but that's okay. That's okay. Perfectly fine. Even though it'd be nice to be helped out. And then we're probably gonna strike here next. Oh boy, they're out of the Belgrade Pact. Bulgaria, Romania proposes to conclude. Conclude? You mean finish? Is that is that finish? Because I can't deal with the war with Romania right now. You guys better hurry the heck up then. I mean, they're doing pretty well, so. If that's the case, you're all going to hold. And I'm going to delete all this. No one's going to move yet. I'm going to leave one army here. I'm glad I looked at the thing, because we're going to defend against the Russians as well. Or not Russians, R Romanians, another R word. Romanians. That's okay, you guys are... Are you moved around yet? You're still getting there. Come over there, and I think it's Greece as well that's going to fight against us. That's kind of okay, you guys hang out. Ah, now they're attacking me, there you go. We should have enough soldiers guarding these lines. Eh, no, 1v1. If it's a 1v1, we should do okay. Oh, Mati Don Hoss has capitulated too. Good. Go ahead and do the, that, maybe. There you go. Let them wear themselves. Oh, on our line. No, no, no. Go ahead and go home. Engage at low risk. That'd be good. Heavy ship holes. Very good. Hmm. You're gonna need some heavy guns. Good. Let them. Let them think that they can do well against us, just in case they attack us. Oh, we're doing well on, on the on the front here. Nice, Conrad. What a general. What a general. Make sure he moves a little bit faster than that. That's good. Alright, when is Russia going to capitulate? They're nowhere close. The Don Kuban Republic. Kuban Republic. Nice, Serbia's attacking me. Oh, no, they didn't do the... They, didn't, they concluded? Huh. The light movement. Ah, good. Build, my friends, build. And then build some of this. That's pretty important. Alright, it's been a while since we actually quartered a piece of territory. Let's see. 
Franz Ferdinand leading the Empire. Very weird, but that's okay. Mark Core. All we have left is Rome Hungary. Let's do that too. There we go. Not quite hungry proper yet. Not quite. But my god, we're doing really well over here. Oh, Russia. What a country. Motorize the cavalry. Very good. Brustian Motor Geschütz. Armor technology? Cool. Yeah, sure, we'll take it. Improve record conditions. We might do that, actually. That would actually probably be pretty good. Keep it up. You guys are doing great. Please don't tell me Vladivostok. Oh my god, Vladivostok is her capital. That is that is not fair. Hmm. China's looking. Oh! Oh! China exploded! Hey, they sell China down there too. Feng Ching Clique. Alright, if you wanted to make a decisive victory, you guys come down there and go that way. Doing pretty well, Franz here. We can probably lower this by one, so we can grab a little bit more oil. Very good. Formation flying. What is that? Howitzers? And eh, we're not really using howitzers. More defense, more breakthrough. Yeah, they're killing themselves on our line. I love it. Come on, guys. Oh boy. Oh, they give us some Mosin Nagants. Oh my goodness, we definitely need more extra equipment. Come on, Conrad. They don't have much left. Uh, that would be okay. Let's get this to that one. We're going to need more fuel where we're going. Yeah, I can't rush. I can't imagine Russia is going to do that. Oh, they even have strikes too. Improved batteries. Nice. If that's the case, improve this by five. We're doing really well on the production of everything. Holy cow. This actually isn't really that bad at all. Early heavy? Oh, yeah. That'd be nice to get. Well, I guess we didn't need this. Or this one, really. Hmm. I don't have enough Docker to really produce that stuff, though. I guess for this campaign, maybe just Russia will be it. Just because there's not a lot that we can do as Austria-Hungary. Not really a lot. Hmm. Can you actually attack and take Belgrade? That would be amazing. You might be able to. Holy crap. Could you attack here? Yeah, well, maybe. Ah, oh, good. And let's grab Mobile Lufar Truppen. Very good, very good. Go ahead and improve working conditions, we can use more stability. Yeah, these guys are fighting to the death, and they're going to be dead before long. Alright, they're getting closer. They're getting closer. 93% of the way there. 84% war score participation from us. Oh, the Kingdom of Finland exists. Alright. Nice. We actually won there. Holy cow. That's impressive. Let's go ahead and try to take Beograd if you can. Come on, guys, you got this. They're, they're only Serbs. Oh man, we're even stacking up here, Jesus. Ah, oh, nine eighty-six percent of the way there. Cancelled Lend Lease, that's fine. They probably don't have enough for themselves. Yeah, we definitely need more guns. Holy cow. I am making tons of civilian factories. We're doing pretty well though. Oh oh. Support weapons. Ah, the Russians have engaged my convoys. They finally found that out that I was importing stuff. Boom. There you go. Nope. There you go. There you go. Didn't need him. Didn't even need him. That's a case. Did you guys win here? They're not going to go to war with us. 
at this point, let's go ahead and put these guys back on the line. Hold. Everyone come back down to Serbia. And we're just gonna wallop them. As best as we can. Oh, they're not even going to their line anymore. That's beautiful. That's just beautiful. And I'll end the episode very soon. Very soon. Russia, you're at 91%. 91% of the way there. Improved artillery upgrade. Very good. Go and get the next one. It's fine. And let's go ahead and grab... That one. And let's go ahead. Everyone's attacking. No way out for the Serbs. And I guess we can start coring some hungry. There we go. No longer mobilizing, and that's okay. We could use a couple... Well, we could use a couple dockyards, but there's no space. I already built everything up. Whoopsie. Whoopsie. There we go. Got some more political power. We get about 1.18. That's not bad. War propaganda. We're going to let it go down even further first. Before we get too far. So, that'll be okay. Uh, research. Ship designer. Oh, I don't like penalties, so no thank you. And let's get blockade of Serbia. Yes. Oh, I get political power for it, too. I love the political power. Belgrade is going to fall. Wow, look how far we've pushed. Yeah, we're definitely going to get a lot out of this peace deal. You better own up to your promises, Trotsky. Or Lenin. Lenin. Not even Trotsky here. War communism. Weekly stability goes down as well as war support. Weekly manpower goes up, though. And there goes the Russian national state. So, I'm going to end the episode here tomorrow. We'll see what we're going to do about this. Ah, we also get Serbia. So, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow as we expand the Austrian Empire. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.